So fun fact, kids, or not kids, because kids are watching this, also I'm telling a penis story. Uh, fun fact, adults, um, did you know that pineapple is acidic? And you know you should not put pineapple on your mem on your member. Like I get this now. Fair. Yeah, no, I mean I didn't hate it. I'm just I'm not a big fan of 3D Mario's in general, so and I also replayed Sunshine and Galaxy recently too, so I'm just kinda going oh, through. Oh yeah. I wasn't very good at Sunshine. I well, I say replayed Sunshine. I gave up, I I gave up on it after like an hour. I don't think Sunshine aged well at all. Yeah, you revisited it. I revisited it, and I was like, never mind. Yes. But I never I never played uh, Galaxy before. So Galaxy is fun. It's I Galaxy to me is it's... very very very. Oh my god, I can't talk. Yeah. Very well put together for something that came out on the console. It yeah. did. My I tried to play it on the Wii previously, and I didn't like it on the Wii, so I just played on the Switch. Um, and I don't, like, the the Switch version is fine, however, um, I don't like how many Wii things they brought over, like, there's, they did not change enough, there's way too much fucking shit that they just left in the game. Motion control. Motion control. Motion, not necessarily motion control, just like the pointer. There's a lot of stuff that uses, uh, uses the pointer. Well, yeah, because that was the... So they developed it for was the pointer. Yeah, but like some of the stuff needs to go. Like some stuff needs to be a button, especially when you change some. It's weird to change some things, but not everything. But it's I don't mind it. I just I think like like a six. I'd probably give it like a six. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. A I was... buddy of mine uh, said something once. He's like, "What? Why are you like? What's the point of putting a ten when you can easily rate it one through five? Like, why add extra numbers?" So that's one of the. I kind of go back to that. Yeah, uh, I don't like statement. the point scale just because it's too cramped. Like, I don't know the difference. Well, you give it like a you give it like a four point three or something like that. Like, if you need to, if it's not something great, then it's like you can add like a a half point or something. But yeah, but even then, I still I don't know. I like the twenty point scale or whatever. The twenty point scale or the, is the hundred. What is the fifty point scale? No, twenty point scale, right? Yeah, no, one to ten with half points is twenty point scale. Yeah, that's right. The burger is open. Yeah, no, one to ten with half points. I think that's the ideal thing for reviewing on like a five point scale, just because a difference between a a three point five and a four point five doesn't look that big. When in reality, I mean that's a. Between a seven and a nine. That's how much you used the tape measure. Ayo. Ayo. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I had Heath on earlier, and he didn't make any penis jokes, so this is only right. I didn't. I'm not talking about penises. No. Oh. Wink, wink. Vagina length. <laughs> just, just jam it up in there. <laughs> oh man. How do you measure vagina depth? Um, I'm not sure. Like, but I'm, I'm assuming that hash, it's... hashtag bucket pussy. Hashtag bucket pussy. It's probably one of my favorite. Uh, I don't know where it originated from, but I heard it on a TikTok, and it was like always oh, talking about length and girth and how I'm gonna fill up. Why aren't we talking about your bucket pussy? Like <laughs> hashtag bucket pussy. <laughs> Just like oh my god. Like. I can't help it that you need a giant member to fill your bucket pussy. And they, the dude was like, just please stop saying bucket pussy. I like bucket pussy. Wee! Also, the downside, to, uh, like, since I played Odyssey, which I played at launch, I've watched a ton of Odyssey speedrunners. Because, like, they're fucking everywhere. And, was, and so, like, Why, I feel... what? So, how... Like you have to do a certain amount to get moons to get to the end, so like that, I feel like that would take some time. Or is there just a bunch of quick stuff they get? I mean, it's, I mean, showing that many moons, and they just have the the routes the routes optimized. Oh no, I don't want that. I see. Yeah, the routes optimized, so it's like I think an hour and a half, something like that. Like an run. hour and a half to beat the game. Yeah, bro, that's. That's intense. You're in the, there's not really any glitches. Like there's not there's as far as I remember what I've seen, there's not really glitches in in um in just any percent. Like there's skips and stuff, but there's not I mean there's no, 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 no there are some glitches. 
Now, do you consider glitches to be part of speedruns, or do you think that stuff should be removed from a speedrun? I mean, I just like those there's, there's glitchless categories, and so I think that's fair. The fact that you have glitch, you you have any you know any percent and glitchless, but I think glitches are fine. It's part of the game. I don't really like glitch. Like I like speedruns that generally are just not good. Like I don't find it interesting to watch. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I know there's stuff where they uh you have to glitch through the wall in certain stuff in like uh I think That's Bloodborne's one yeah. and then like I know there's one in Dark Souls. Oh, most games have that shit. Birth of the Wild. So really like bad you have to get cli- you have to get clipped through Clips, a wall yeah. by an enemy. Like, oh, I didn't do this, so now I have to restart my entire run. Yeah, no, I just I just don't find that lot of stuff interesting. A lot of you know who you have to like pause people who like you know, a lot of pausing and like menuing to like get like, these glitches and clips and I just don't find that interesting or fun. But I think it but I think it counts. Like it's part of speedrunning. Yeah. Well, to to me, not that my opinion ma- opinion matters, but um, I feel like if it's something that's an easily exploited glitch, like you're like, hey, I go over here and this happens, like I'm okay with that. Whereas if you're purposely trying to break the game so you can get a faster time, that's where I'm like, okay, you're are you really speed running the game or are you just uh, like breaking the game at that point? Both. <laughs> It's like being being moderate versus conservative and liberal. <laughs> We're loosely interpreting the uh, speed run. I'm conservatively interpreting the speed. Run. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I, I mean, it can. Like, it, it's still impressive. It's still a skill. I just I like speed runs that are more. I don't say more skill based because something like that is a skill, but more. Uh, more I don't. More... I I don't have the patience for it, so yeah. I'll give it a skill category. Yeah. Yeah, I just it's just more. I like speedruns that are more gaming based. I guess I don't know how to word it, but you know what I mean. Like, I want to see the video game be played. Gotcha. No, I I can agree with that. All right. Oh, it's game so long. Yeah, right. I just right. started listening to a podcast that was talking about Dark Souls, and so I'm back playing Dark Souls again just there. for a little while because. Scarlet yeah. and Violet is disappointing, but I'll yeah. probably come back to it at some point and it's not beat very, it just it's, for the sake of doing it. It's not very long. I spent most of my time just running around trying to get this stupid fucking palmy to freaking evolve doing the Let's Go feature, and it won't oh. work for me. I've literally had that Pokemon out running around ever since I've had it, and I literally send it out to do everything. And it just, it won't evolve. And I'm like, I know I've had it run around for a thousand steps. I have a cat bounce. I don't remember how to cat bounce. Because I don't fucking remember shit. Whee! I am Chain Chomp. Doesn't it have a, a tutorial thing saved? Like, you can go and check what you're doing? Yeah, it probably does. I'm just waiting for the game to tell me. I want the game to tell me how to cat bounce. Because I don't feel like looking it up. That's. Like, that's how I know a lot of speedrunners skip a lot of shit. So cat bouncing and rolling. Rolling around at the speed of sound. But the other thing I for sure have. Have you played the new Sonic game, speaking of that? Negative. Or are you... Oh, I'm waiting. Are no. you waiting? I was tempted just because it fucking is already down to t- fucking half off for Black Friday, even though it just came out like two weeks ago. But I'm like, it's gonna be ten dollars, and I don't want to pay. A any- lot of people, there's a lot of hype about it on TikTok and other formats that I just didn't know if it was really worth the hype. Eh, from what I've seen, a lot of YouTubers cover it, and it's just like, it's the similar excuse a lot of people gave Arceus. And I don't like it. It's the, oh, it's it's a good first step. They tried something new and they did okay. They just got to do it better next time. Like no, they are a gaming developing company. Yeah, there it's is, their job. That's their job. There is no good first step. Just because it is a different formula, a different kind of game they're doing, does not mean they don't know how to make a good game. Like kind of 
I don't like how much leeway we give these gaming companies. Right? Oh, they tried. It's like no, yeah. you like you have you have like uh, standards to uphold. It's like I mean, we gave them some basic human rights. <laughs> I know that's a little extreme, but it's kind of, it's kind of what in my head. It's like, oh yeah. well, we mean, there's we did some stuff that you like. It's not all bad. Yeah, it's like, just there's, some there's, bad. It's just a good building block. Like I, I hate that shit. Like there uh, is... uh, the building block is when you develop it. Yeah. Not when you sell it. Maybe that would work in 1999, but it's fucking 2022. It wouldn't work in 1999 because they had to develop the game and have it done. Fair. Those things like Final Fantasy 1 or like Red and Blue. I mean, yeah, there were still there's still glitches in those games, but it's yeah. not like good lord. I don't know, maybe the expectations are too too high. I mean, no, but we not know no, what but also just make good I mean, games. but we know what to expect now, like Yeah. As yeah. much as uh CD Projekt Red had so many issues with with their game. Like they are the ones who got forced by their fans to do all the stuff to yep. get it done, and it's taken them over what two years to get it right. Yeah. But you would think these companies would learn the lesson from it, and they they just don't. And I don't understand. All right. All right. Let's do the. Uh, let's do down a skip. We're gonna we're gonna first attempt down a skip. It's like the only skip in this game I know. Just because it's like the most popular one. It's really early on. And where's my... Is there not a move list in this game? I'm really going to hate to do this, but this I need to do this. I gotta go back, and I gotta go farm twenty thousand souls, and I every run up is five hundred and fifty five souls. Yeah. The easy way, quote unquote, and it's like I just don't feel like doing rigorously intensive mental, uh, with the chance of losing twenty thousand souls. So it's just like, well, I guess I'm gonna do this. I'm surprised I haven't been invaded yet because I've been in the undead burg for a while as a human. I really don't want to be somewhere too far and then go, oh, hey, what's up, fucker? And I'm like, well, there goes 20,000 souls that I needed. All right, so let's that's, see. That's one thing about, I don't like about the Souls games or any hard games. I don't like doing what I've already done. Oh, you mean like running back to go get something that you lost? Yep. <laughs> or having to then have to be beat enemies already beat. Gotcha. I don't mind it as much because the it's part of the mechanic and it's well explained. Fair. Well, relatively well explained. When you talk to pe the story's developed I don't know, trying to think about how to describe this. So if it were like blink lights out, done, and wake up in like a soul's world. And you have no idea, you've never played these games before, like your memory's wiped. You're going to wake up and you go, okay, I guess I'm going this direction. Okay, I guess I'm going that direction. And there would be nothing really told to you until you got to a person and went, hey, like, you're not attacking me. Like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, hey, what's up? You're new here? And you're like, yeah, what's going on? And they kind of fill you in with vague stuff because everyone's kind of going a little loopy and mad. And then as the story progresses, you're like, well... I can go this way. Oh crap, I'm getting my ass kicked every time. So let me go this way. Okay, this way is easier. You develop that story and you're like, okay, now I'm kind of filling in the blanks of what's going on by talking to these people and these people who aren't attacking me and I'm getting little bits and pieces. And then you're like, oh, eventually you find out like time is skewed and broken. So it makes sense why every time that I die, when I come back, it's a refresh or every time I come through here, there's other things happening because other people or myself are doing things in a different timeline. Like that's the whole reason you can do multiple things because 
you're sitting there and it's like it could be other versions of you or it's other adventurers and stuff because essentially think of like a fractured reality and that's what's really cool to me about it because it's like it's not it's not like a like that kind of like loophole like oh we're just explaining our world away because that's how we want to it's like this is a part of what's happening because of how the world is ending and it's like you just so happen to be one of the hollows or the the undead as they call them that are coming around yeah. and you're like well hey it's maybe it's me and it's like well you died so maybe it's not you and then you come back no. and you're just like oh it's like you're just the one if you end up beating the game which a lot of people will probably get this game and they stop because they're like oh this is too hard canonically you're just somebody who stopped with their they stopped trying and they ended up going hollow huh. so they lost their humanity at least from the dark souls perspective you lost your for humanity you gave up and and you you're now one of the guys who are sitting around trying to kill you because you lost your way that's pretty interesting actually yeah, it's 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 really so the world that was created is very deep, but it's not it's Shit. not told very well. Oh. Woo! Down a skip. Turn to take two down a skip. Let's go. Oh, you did down a skip. Nice. It's not that hard. I don't think it's that hard to do, but just because I did it, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Turn, attempt two down a skip. Come watch, come watch me play Mario and have uh, Eric the Red Gaming just talk about Dark Souls lore. Yeah, the, you don't know the Dark Souls fan base and the Mario fan base is, you know, one and the same. Right. right. I mean, it is considered a platformer at times, <laughs> a very awful one at that. I, like but... I hate platforming in action games. Like, well, Elden Ring definitely makes it much better because you yeah. can actually fucking jump, but. In this game, it's like, do you really give a shit about yourself? No? Okay. <laughs> I need to... Yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been playing Devil May Cry um, 5. Shit, I need to go the opposite way. I'm Ooh, like, how's that? I've been meaning to pick that up. I've never played Devil May Cry game in my life. Um, but wow. I, never... I, I played 1 and 2. Nope, never <laughs> played any of them. So, I mean, I was a bit younger when they came out launch and then yeah, that's fair but i forget i'm an old bogey yeah i never played any of them um so it's my first of my cry i know very little about the series but i really like this one i think um it's... from what i've been told it's very what's the word it it goes back to the basics if that if that's something I could say about it, yeah. why am I shooting a heavy soul arrow? I don't need to do that. Fair, Get out of here! But yeah, no, I, how did you block that, you piece of shit? You know, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the reason I brought it up is because it also does pla not a lot, but it's a little bit of platforming, and it's dumb. And I hate I hate platforming action games. It's never fun. Like. Leave the platform for the platformers. Let me go punch things. But in general, no, I really like it. Um, I like how dumb it's so fucking dumb and over the top that I'm in love with it. I like that kind of media. I like my media to be stupid. I mean, nothing's greater than the best platformer of all time, Banjo Kazooie, so. Sure, buddy. Whee! This is probably, I mean, this is probably the best place that I could say it because we all know what's going on, but I'm really surprised it didn't turn out to be a furry. <laughs> you? With how much I love, like, Banjo-Kazooie and like all this, these other, <laughs> all these other, like, characters, and, like, I watched, like, all the stuff that everyone's like, this is what turned me into a furry, and I'm like, I mean, I could under, I could see it, but, like, I don't see it. I mean, if that's what you're into, you know, have fun, go off, but I just, I don't get it. God, the one thing I forget about this game is just how many fucking moons, like, one of the things I didn't like about this was how many moons there are. That's, I know that's a common complaint. 
Like it just makes it makes them feel way less special. When you just turn around and there's a moon. Open your eyes, there's a moon. You find a moon, it's got a moon inside it. Really? Did that did that make me fat roll? Or medium roll? No, I think I'm still good. Okay. So in the first one, there's two, well, technically three stages of rolling. You have the light roll, and then you have the medium roll, and then you have the fat roll. And the fat roll is, like, awful. Unless you're just going to tank damage, it's the worst. Fair. Ooh, but yeah, what I was saying about Double My Cry, yeah, no, it's it's dumb, over-the-top fun. Um, the action's fun. It tries to have puzzles and platforming, and I've never, like, I don't like change of pace stuff in games. Like, let the thing that you do well, just do that. I've never right. liked change of pace, but at least here it's pretty short. Uh, the load times are god-awful. I'm playing the PS4 version, I don't know if the PS5 version fixes it. I don't want to pay twice as much for the same game. So I just bought the PS4 um, version, but the load times are some of the worst I've seen. I don't, I don't know if that makes a difference, to be honest with you. I mean, just because it came out, the PS5 version came out a couple years later. So I'm thinking maybe they, maybe they fixed it. I don't know, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. It made me buy. I ended up buying. I just bought the, um, the one through three collection. It's weird. There's no place to play four. What do you mean? You can't like for like current like like unless you have like the 360 or PS3. I think it's on Steam, but that's it. Like the Devil May Cry collection. Why. Collection is just one through three, not four. Which hmm. I thought, which I thought was kind of weird. I assume like why not just have, why not have all four games on the fucking PlayStation Four. Or all yeah, five that games. is pretty interesting. Yeah. But I have no idea which. Um, I don't know which Devil May Cry <laughs> games are good. But I like five enough, makes me want to try the others, so. We'll see. I'm going to play more of that soon. Can I not upgrade my. I need to beat Ogre Tactics too, but since it's kind of. It's wearing on me a little bit. I just don't like long. Like oh, the Reborn? Yeah. I liked it. I, I, I still like it. I'd give it a seven. It's so far, I'm, it's a seven, seven and a half, but it has no reason to be fifty dollars, you know, so it's no reason to be as long as it is. Got right. <laughs> Did you stop playing it? Or are you still playing it? I I play it when I'm uh, if he's taking a nap or if he's like kind of doing stuff and like playing by himself. Fair. I play it when it's like doing that because, like, if he needs me, I can just I can literally just set the controller down and go do whatever. Fair. That's nothing I really like. Whee! <sighs> Maybe I need a ember. For... Hey, look, it's my favorite. This was the world I liked the most when I played this game originally. The the sand sand land, sand kingdom. <laughs> I thought oh, with the uh, with the the sugar skull people. Yeah. Dude, we got a moon. All right, time 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 to any percent this bitch. Nah, I can't fucking speed run. I just don't. I don't have the patience for speed running. I can't. Yeah, I barely have the patience for games like what I'm playing now, but. Yeah, like, it's like I don't know. I, I get why people do it and like it, but like, how do I have to do? I have to defrost to get to the. Okay, I must. I think I gotta defrost this bitch. Um, yeah, I get why people um like it. Yeah, okay, I can't. I can't cheese this. The oh, man, I want that moon. I want that moon. What do you mean I have to fucking save the kingdom to get the moon? Just give me the moon. But yeah, no, I get what people speed run. Again, like, that shit's really impressive, but I just do not have the patience for it. Like, I I just want to play new things and have fun. And For me, I want to experience more things than just one thing a lot. Like, 
Granted, I play Pokemon games too much, but this is why I've been trying to push to play more games during since I've been making the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. so I just want to experience more different things. I want to I want to find a game that I wouldn't have normally played and fucking love it. All right, what are we doing here? There's a prize in this party room. Oh, Rumble. Hey, Rumble. Nope. Right there. Right there. Right there. There we go. Yay! We got a moon! Only... Fucking did it. But yeah, I'm just right, curious what more. my... Kind of going through the 3D Mario's right now and just seeing like which ones what's because I don't really like any of them. like I don't did I oh here's the thing, I don't not that I don't like them. I don't love any of them and so they don't they don't scratch the itch yeah I'm just and 3D platformers in general I don't like 3D platformers that much and I get like I get opinions are different and stuff and some people are wrong um I understand that but. The only thing I don't get why I, when I was playing uh, Galaxy was like, oh, people give this game a 10 out of 10. And I don't understand how. Uh, I think because they were hungry for a Mario. I guess, but I don't know. I, just don't I mean, it, so this is why, to segue back to Pokemon, this is why it pisses me off so much is because when I first put in Mario Odyssey, I knew I had a PS4 Pro... I knew what good graphics look like, and I put that shit in on my TV, expecting it to look mediocre, and it blew me away with how good it looked. Like, I was thoroughly impressed with how good it looked, the seamlessness, there was no... It wasn't It wasn't a bad-looking game. Like, there are times where I could kind of stare off in the distance and be like, wow, this is really neat, this no, is really cool. Odyssey is gorgeous. Like, people keep... When I bitched about Scarlet Violet, people were like, it's just the Switch. I'm like, Breath of the Wild and Odyssey look good. Yeah, they all look great. Those are two so, good looking games. Like, fuck off. That's why shit. it's that's why it's kind of like, what are you guys talking about? Like, are you guys playing the same game that I'm playing? Because I feel like something's missing here. Yeah. Like, the Switch. Again, like, I don't need the best graphics. Like, I think Final Fantasy XV is one of the greatest game looking games of all time. I think the game sucks. Final a lot. Fantasy 15. 15 looks amazing. I still think 15 looks. That's the one with where they're riding um, around in, in the, the car. car in the commercial. Yeah. Yeah, it plays like shit though. I hate yeah. oh, it. Oh, I hate it. But I still think it's even five years later. I still think it's one of the best looking games of all time. It's insane how good that game looks. However, it sucks. So like, and like graphics are not everything. However, I at least want a game to run. Yes. I don't need it to be the great, best looking game ever, but I need it to run. Yeah, here I, here I am playing a re res game from freaking 1990 whatever. Yeah. And I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> yeah, like those because the over tactics looks like shit, but it functions. It is a complete game. It also looks like shit because it's made from fucking 95. But, it doesn't look like shit. I think it looks pretty damn good. Really? I also I also really like that uh that style. Fair. I think it looks like shit for a game charging fifty dollars in two thousand twenty two. That's fair. It's got no right being as expensive as it is with because I thought it like I didn't really look up anything. I just saw oh over tactics. I'm gonna fucking get that because I like over tactics. So I thought they were gonna like redo it like um Triangle Strategy. Like I thought they were gonna make it like I thought they were redoing the graphics. They never watched any of the trailers uh, or anything. So I actually bought so yeah, the game like, and I saw I, I could like, see how you would be disappointed. Which is still fine. I'm still enjoying I knew, it. But... I knew I knew going into it that it was just like a, a like a full port kind of the, thing. Yeah. Alright. Right, how do I get there? I can just Jeez, that did a lot of fucking damage. Can I collect a moon? Oh, I okay. to... Let's go. Ooh, another Titanite shard. Alright. Whee! Rolling around.
around at the speed of sound. I got places to go. Follow my rainbow. I also need to listen to the full um, Sonic Frontier soundtrack. I've heard it's the best Sonic soundtrack of all time. Cause it's got it's got a lot of um lyrical songs, and I like lyrical. I like songs with lyrics in my video games. Not indifferent. Maybe yeah. I'm just picky. I just don't. Well, I don't think I'm not. I don't think I'm picky. I'm just like. It's a video game, so it's like if it's meant to have the lyrics in it, I guess it's supposed to. Fair. I've never, I'm not like not that I've not been a fan, but I've always liked soundtracks, lyrical soundtracks more. Okay, you're not supposed to be far I, in the back. I.e., Persona doing? or um, Worlds with You. Shit. God, cap diving is just a fucking f cap diving feels so weird to someone who. I never did that in the OG game. The what? The, 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 the cap bounce, where you throw Cappy and you dive after him. Basically, oh, like a better long jump. Yeah, I, I cannot do that shit. I was yeah. very bad at that. Ah, I keep getting hit a lot. Not very speedrunny of me. Also, um, something that um, I will say without a doubt... Where am, I, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? There's gotta be. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Um, but something I will say is that, goddamn, the 2D segments in this game are bad. The 2D sections in Mario Odyssey are not fun. And it's similar to. I f compare it to Sonic games. That also put in the 2D segments for no reason. Like, it's just not very fun. Like, why? Shit. Like, why are you putting a half-assed version of one of your old mechanics in this game? I don't get it, man. Okay, now I'm stuck. What are you doing, step bro? That kind of stuff. I got stuck in a I got stuck in a corner, and then this the thing was like literally sitting in front of me, and I was like, okay, how am I supposed to beat this when I'm stuck in a corner? What? I almost got screwed out of a win, and I hate it when that happens in Dark Souls. Glitches in Dark Souls. This game is difficult enough. Don't make it even more difficult than it has to be. So I'm really curious what's gonna happen with all a lot of these Game of the Year awards. Um, is it like it's there? There are two games that are going to, but I'm wondering what's gonna if they're gonna split the vote or be more one sided, and that is obviously God of War and Elden Ring. Those two games are going to win every award for most people. I think, I mean, honestly, I think it just depends. Yeah, if we're talking like pure. It's it's hard because I don't I don't know how to describe it without sounding like an idiot, but I feel like they're even though they are quote unquote there's RPG elements in God of War. But it's yeah. been a while, right? They're, yeah, they're both they're the the new ones at least have RPG elements. I don't think the old ones. Yeah, do. so it's like you're kind of it's like do you like your grilled cheese or do you like your grilled cheese with tomato soup? Like, yeah, you know what I mean. It's like. They both look great. Mm -hmm. They both. God of War looks better, but Elden Ring's not a bad looking game. Like, well, I... the only reason Elden Ring is not as polished is because they put a lot into their various stuff. Like, there are spells that are fucking unbelievably crazy looking. Like, there's stuff that I'm like, they put how many of these things in this game? Fair. Fair, fair. Of course, now that now that I'm up here in the undead burg, or the undead parish, nobody's going through, so no, I'm face. not getting summoned. Let me see it. I will laugh. I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
fucking don't know how to get rid of this. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember now. I don't remember what we're talking about now. Oh yeah, we got a war versus Game, Game of the Year award. I think God of War will do better just because recency bias. Recency bias always matters. What do you mean by that? The God of War just came out. Oh, and, recent, yeah. recent. Okay. Yeah, recent. It's. I understand I, what you mean. I've heard it called recency bias. It's more in people's minds. Yep. Because God of War did come out, and or not God of War. Uh, Elden Ring did come out fucking a while First ago. Year. Yeah, like March or February, right? Yeah. It was very, it was very, very. I think it was February. Yeah, it was very. God. Fucking fuck. So I think that's definitely going to got a worse. When they work. realized that there were issues with their game, they decided, hey, maybe we should fix these. Yeah. Does that remind this me? This thing is a little too powerful. Something I want to bitch about. I saw. I can't remember who it was. But someone was um, shit talking about game of the year, and they were shitting on uh, the new Horizon. Were releasing a week before Elden Ring, and they were like the fucking idiot devs. What do you think they were doing? Like, uh, except, um, which I agree. However, Elden Ring delayed itself into yeah uh, Horizon's release date. So I don't. I mean, could they have delay? I don't think you delay a game just because another good game is coming out at the same time. Yeah. No. No. So but I, that's the thing is, Elden Ring did their beta tests and they found all their errors and went, "Oh man, we got to fucking fix this," yeah. which is Once fine again. But <laughs> but yeah, it's not. It is not Horizon's fault. Like we we were we're releasing stuff into our anime. We have to have this stuff polished, and it has to be out so people can play the game. We're putting the character out. They can't see it before playing the game. Is what somebody was telling me. Their reasoning behind. Ow. Releasing the game earlier than expected. Oh, for for what? Sword and Shield, or just or uh, Scarlet Violet, or just in general? Scarlet and Violet, because they basically brought one of the uh, Pokemon into the game, and they're like, "Oh, well, they they can't have this in the game in the anime and not have people be able to play it, so it has to be out." What? That that isn't. A... And then they said something about like the card game, like in TCG, they were getting ready to do stuff with that too. I mean, yeah, it would make it weird, but like, but it wouldn't make it fucking. Yeah, it wouldn't be an end. But... Like, it wouldn't be an end all I mean, situation. You just delay the TCG too. And I get like, yeah, the anime and TCG, like, yeah, but still, they could have figured something out. Like, it's for the fucking Nintendo. They're a game yeah, freak. They're... Like, they, they are just like, I don't know. But the answer, the real answer, is money. And I'm just, I'm so tired of people fucking defending them nonstop. Like. Well, you a lazy, you have to, if you don't believe if you don't believe in the system that you're being given, like how are you gonna how are you gonna accept the fact that what you are given is not good? Like they are a lazy, greedy, greedy company, and you know they still make games that can be enjoyable, but they're lazy and they're fucking greedy. And to defend that kind of shit is fucking nonsensical. Like same people will fucking well, defend billionaires. Actually, Elon what Musk errors? isn't actually that rich. His money's not liquid, so he doesn't have money to help the world. Like, just... welcome to Eric and Cody's political podcast. <laughs> we're, mo we're moving on. We're moving up. Yeah. We nothing like. I mean, last time when I was playing Jack and Daxter, you and Jonathan got super political, so... Mario, you know, same thing, same diff. Yes, I'm being summoned. I'm honestly really... Speaking of Jack and Daxter, I'm really surprised that they haven't tried to do a, um... Were they supposed to do another Jack and Daxter? I don't know, but I'm, I'm surprised they haven't, like... 
Like, I'm surprised. Like, I know Naughty Dog's busy, and they're doing Uncharted and Last of Us, and I mean, they, wanna, they probably don't want to do a Jack and Daxter, but, like, I'm just surprised Sony hasn't had another studio. Pawn that off to another studio to do. Where's my last fucking... Where's my last baby moon? Oh, there it is. We did it. Ow. Then we hit the then we hit the cactus. But yeah, I'm surprised they haven't pawned off to another like the studio who did like um Sly Cooper. Like what the fuck are they doing? I can give them give them Jack and Daxter. Uh, does that studio exist anymore? I don't know. I think it's the one. I think it actually isn't it. Um, the one who does um, Infamous and um, uh, what did they just do? Ghost of Tsushima. Which I is that the same company? Ninety nine percent sure. I'd have to check that. I don't think they're. I, I don't know. Maybe they don't think they can compete. Also, give us another fucking Infamous. Which I know they said they're not going to do another infamous, which sucks. Um, yeah, so they, I, I knew it was the same Sucker Punch. Yeah, they did um, Sly Cooper, Infamous, and Ghost of Tsushima. Which I ended up playing Ghost of Tsushima at some point. I just don't want to. Um, it's just so really expensive. Which is weird because usually I feel like Sony. Exclusives don't hold value very long, but I never played Select Cooper. It's another game. It's another series I do want to play at some point. Oh, but too much to play, and I keep buying shit. I just fucking bought the so many games during Black Friday because because a lot of the games I bought were collections. Like bought, oh, you bought a bunch of collections. I bought the Devil. What May all did you buy? The Devil May Cry collection, the uh, Mass Effect trilogy, um, the Batman, the two Arkham the, the two Arkham games, and then I also ended up getting Kakarot, the Kingdom Hearts music game, and uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the new one or newer one. Oh, damn, you did pick up a lot. Yeah. So that's a lot of games right there, but it was fucking... This is, what, $91 for seven games? Yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of getting to that phase where I think it's, like, I do enjoy the hype, but if it's not exclusively Nintendo, it's... I kind of been going through looking at the sales and realizing that I'm pretty much spent all this money on stuff when I could have just waited like a year and got it for almost half off. Yeah, no, I'm trying to buy less new games in general, and that's why I'm like, but like, I don't even. I thought about not buying all these games too, just be, but I'm just like, you know what, this is a pretty good deal, and stuff I want to play eventually, and who knows what. Like, I do think the PS4 market's gonna be cheap for a while, but I'm like, eh, fuck it. But I do need to work better with my backlog. But yeah, no, I do want to stop buying so many, so many games new. Cost I read an money. article on uh, the projected uh, PS6 coming out. I, in, heard, uh, I saw that. 2027. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can't even get PS5s now. What yeah. are they going to do then? I'm so, same with this fucking Switch. Like, I'm so tired of how obsessed we as a culture are with mo the next thing already. Like, when the Switch came out, like a year or two after, I feel like people were talking about the Switch 2. I don't think we're going to get a Switch uh, Pro or whatever. I think we're. it's just going to be the next console. I, the OLED is the update that they've given us, and that's it. I disagree. I don't think we're getting a Switch 2 for a while. No, no that's what I'm saying. The next thing will be... the. They won't do like a how the ps4 did a ps4 pro to be like here's mm. your 4k graphics like they did the oled update because they're like oh it's a slightly bigger screen and it you know better graphics you know right. but it's like you just have better color gamut and all that other stuff yeah no i think we're so, gonna switch pro i think i, I don't think, think there's gonna be a switch pro 
I think the Switch is going to be here for a while, which is why I think we're yeah. getting a Switch. That's why I think we are getting a Switch Pro. You think it's just going to be the next phase in like two, two to four years? Yeah, more than four. I think four. Yeah, four years at least. No, I think we're sticking with the Switch for a while. I think it's going to have a longer. I think it's going to have a longer than normal cycle. It's still selling really well. It's yeah, a, and they just put out the OLED model, so they're yeah. gonna they want to recoup all their shit on that. Yeah, no, we're gonna keep getting we're we'll get us we're gonna keep getting a couple more Switch models. I think we get the Switch Pro. But yeah, we definitely I do not think we see the Switch Two in at least four years minimum. If not longer. I just don't think they really have a need. Like, why make why make a whole new console when consoles are expensive, when your console is still selling really fucking well? And hardware is hard to come by now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck. God, I'm getting hit a lot in this video game. This child, this child video game. I'm failing at something that kids are supposed to be successful at. I didn't grow up with the Super Nintendo generation, so that's why I'm bad at video games and also and also impatient. It's not my fault. I I had an NES, and then the next system I got was an N64. I just had I had friends who had hmm. all the interbetweens, the Genesis, the SNES. Wait, do you not have the PlayStation to... One? Do you not have to world peace? Do you not? Maybe you don't. In the fucking Zen Kingdom, do you have to fucking? I'm gonna die here. Oh, I remember. I don't know what to do now. I I comprehendo now. Wee and then bop. <laughs> and I go hit her in the face, and I go fuck you. Oh, do I ground pound her ass? Okay, ground pound her. Never mind. I wonder if we're gonna get an Odyssey too. I feel like we gotta get another 3D Mario soon. Oh yeah. I, especially yeah, like I think either end Within of the this next year or two. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. It could especially since um Zelda's a summer a summer game. Um, I definitely think our next fall game could be a Mario. And I think I think we're gonna. I think they might do an Odyssey too. I'm also curious what they're gonna if they're ever gonna bring a Galaxy two over. Like the fact, uh, that, the fact that Galaxy two wasn't sure. in the collection. Like, they, it's not like they compare with anything because like everything, all the other 3D Mario's are already here. So it's not like they compare it in another re-release. They can't do a Mario All Stars two. So like, what do they do? And the answer is probably we just never get Galaxy 2. But it just feels weird to leave it out. So I don't know, but no, I definitely think we get either an Odyssey 2 or I don't know, Galaxy, probably not Galaxy 3. But, but we kind of already did get Galaxy 3 with um, Mario and Rabbids 2. Which is a lot more Galaxy than I would have ever expected. I think the most people expected. Did you like... Uh, you might have said it already, but did you like the new Mario Rabbids game? Yeah, I did. I, I think it's better than the first. I like the first. Did you ever play the first one? No, I never... Okay. Yeah. never really got the chance to. Fair. You would probably like them both, I think. Because you like Mario and you like tactics at games. Yeah. It's you know? one of those things where it's just been too expensive to pick up. Fair. Usually, the first one's usually pretty cheap. Since Ubisoft, not Nintendo. It's usually like $10, $15 on sale. But, no, I like them I like them both. I like the second one. I think the second one's better. It does some things. Like a lot of games. You know, it does you know what I'm waiting for? What's that? Speaking of sequels, where's the, uh, where's the third uh, South Park game? Yeah, I'm surprised since the... the yeah, we had the well. fantasy... 
we had the fantasy, we had the superhero. What what's next? I own both of those on the I didn't play them very much. I played and beat them. I didn't complete like do completionist, yeah. but I played them and ah. a couple times through different class wise and I, I had a pretty good time. Yeah. Okay, now you do just, well, I see. Now you do this storable. twice. I need to do it twice so I can so get... So nice, you can do it. God damn it, let me roll! Why are there enemies that stop me from rolling? Rolling around at the speed of sound. I got places to go. Ah, oh, I died. <laughs> but, um, are you also ready for the... I don't know if you played them, but you're, you're an older gentleman. Uh, the Sudokin remakes... Sudokin. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see how they turned out. Fair. And then I, I'll make my decision. Did you play them when you were younger? I, uh, I did. I think I played three when my buddy let me borrow his Super Nintendo. Fair. Uh, I don't think third PlayStation. I'm pretty sure. Are you? I don't remember. It's, I know I played three. Yeah, I'm not. I know one and two were definitely on PlayStation. So if one and two on the PlayStation, then. Unless they're re unless I guess maybe they're remakes. I don't think they were. I don't know. I might have swore right they way. were on Super Nintendo. On. Most they were pixely like like yeah. uh, Secret of Mana and shit. So yeah, they were pixely, but I'm ninety nine percent sure they were. How do you spell S U I K? There um, we go. Yeah. But yeah, like a lot of like something I do want to pick up, but it's something that I definitely am not gonna get at launch. I mean, I'm gonna start buying a lot less games new. You're I'm right. Sure. It is. It's PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Windows, PlayStation yeah. Two, Game Boy Advanced, so DS. I didn't think they were. Then what did I play on fucking Super Nintendo? Fantasy Star, Lumia. God, I hate ice mechanics and like why we've had decades of people bitching about ice mechanics and um, define ice mechanic. Um and what like um like ice like ice fields like ice like ice. Oh, like you slide around yeah. and like in platformers, <clears throat> ice is like the worst, and people don't like water levels either. Oh, so why are we still getting water levels in Ice Worlds? Like, are we not over that by like we keep bitching about it? We keep talking right. about how much we bitch about it. Fuck. Shit. No, no. How do I get that? Do I have to jump? Pop and then up, up slide. All right, or up slide. But yeah, I'm I'm tired of water levels and especially water levels. I I am tired of water levels. I don't want to swim. I think water levels. Are, I don't know if this is unpopular or not, but I think water levels are worse than ice levels. Um, I can tell you, I hate water levels because. Those are the two hardest levels in Banjo Kazooie because of the fucking camera. Fair, yeah. The camera's always really bad. So I was surprised how bad the water was in um, uh, Galaxy. Like that's some of the worst swimming controls I think I've ever played. Like goddamn, which is insane to me that, that was that bad. All right, how do I? How do I get that? Nope, that ain't it. Yeah, okay. Oh, I comprehend now. I understand now. Nope, okay. There's gotta be an actual way to do this, but 
Nope, I died. Oh, I didn't die. Why can't I fucking... I see these phantoms running around. I feel kind of bad because they're just kind of sitting there, just doing their thing, hanging out. And then I come in and I shoot them in the back with a spell and they're just like... Bruh! I had um, Sucker Punch pulled up in my Google because I was looking up when we were talking about them, and apparently they did say. I knew they said that they weren't ever going to do another um, Infamous game, but I guess in the same conversation, they also said they were never going to do another Sly Cooper. How many did they do? Because uh, I never really played the games. They didn't do the. I don't believe they did the fourth Sly Cooper. I think they only did the Okay, first so three. there was three. Yeah, there's four, but yeah, they did the first three, and they did the three Infamous games. Which. I'm gonna I really like the Infamous games. I think Infamous um, 1 is one of the best games ever made. I think 2 is okay, and the second son is god-awful. What made it so god-awful? Did, did you not play it, the one on the PS4? I never played, I never played second son. Um, it just wasn't... The char I mean, a lot of things. The character... Like, I like, like... Cole shouldn't work, but I think Cole did work. Like, I liked Cole. I liked some of the side characters. I liked your fucking sleazy best friend. Like, I generally like the characters in Infamous. And the characters in Second Son are really annoying. And it just, I don't know, it just felt like every... It's been a while since I played it, but I think feel like everything was just not as fun. It, the areas weren't as interesting. They they tried to make it more realistic, like it was based off Seattle, like to the point where like people can like recognize buildings and shit. And like I've heard people who like knew Seattle like could navigate certain areas, and that's really cool. But I don't play my infamous games for their geogra geographic yeah, geographical accuracy. Yeah, I want cool superhero video game to do cool superhero things. Right. So, I felt like the, yeah, Seattle was boring, the characters were not as f interesting, and n not as fun to control. Did you hear that, Did you hear that everybody on the internet? Yeah. Seattle's boring. Yeah. Seattle. That's not what I said. No, that's what we said. <laughs> that's what we Just said. Just kidding. There's, some, yeah. there's cool stuff in, like there's cool stuff in Seattle. I was like, I, thought, yeah, I think you like Seattle too, don't you? Yeah, I like Seattle. Seattle's yeah. awesome. Wee. Seattle fam, we're just jerking your chain. We Je love you. Gotta keep stay, this. stay moist, my friends. <laughs> moist. Is moist the ugliest word in the English dictionary? Uh, no. There's plenty of other words that are bad. I hate the word moist. Or supple. How? <laughs> supple. supple. I was gonna say how else? How else are you gonna describe something that's wet? Without saying it's just it's uh, the right type of wet, like it, no, it's damp. moist. Damp's damp's kind of like a grody kind of like I don't know. Oh, that cake is damp. Like, come on, man. That that cake is supple. That nah. supple cake. Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! But yeah, and I get I just I don't like moist. Moist is gross. It's a gross sounding word for gross sounding people. Do 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 do. English, English lessons, politics lessons. Like we're just getting into everything here. That's what game, you come here for. Game design. So speaking of game design. Oh, come on! Damn it. Um, that's actually one of the, my most, f see if I can describe this. Cause oh, I'm about to get gang spanked. No, my English ain't very good. So let's try to, um, one of my favorite things about infamous is the, I'm just trying to figure out how to word it. Um, narrative and gameplay. The fact that the narrative is tied to the gameplay. 
I really like that. Like, what I mean by that is like even even to the point of all the collectibles, like everything had a purpose in that game. Like, there's actual story reasons for the collectibles and shit. Like, like I don't know. There's just the narrative is a part of the gameplay. And I think that's really cool, and not a lot of games do that. Ah, fuck. I keep dying. Eric's like, fuck off, Cody. I don't care. Well, I don't what it... Oh, because you weren't saying anything. I know. It's no, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking, sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. No, um... That's kind of one of the allures, not to kick back to fucking Souls games, but that's the allure of Souls games to me is like, the sto there's not much of the storytelling, mm -hmm. so the only thing you can really infer is by where they hide it, and they hide it in the item descriptions. So it's like, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see if I can find something. Discard hilt. So let's see, we get to the Sphirehander, and it's like, as the name suggests, the Sphirehander is held with two hands, but its wielder must still be inhumanely strong. It is this great weight that sends foes flying when hit solidly. And then you get into other stuff like there's the armors, uh, chainmail helm, knights, uh, knights may favor flashy armor, but for warriors on the battlefield, any, anything is fine as long as it keeps them alive. And it's like, you go to the Sorcerer Hat, the majority take pride in having studied at the Academy and look down on breaking the formal dress code established for Sorcerers. It's like, okay, well, what's this Academy? And then you find other items that then tell you about the Academy. And it's like, you just get this, like, respite, kind of, like, whimsical story that's fed through certain things. You're like, oh, man, like... There's a ring. A uh, ring symbolizes the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess faithful beauty. It's like, oh, one of the infamous bite rings commissioned by Sir Artorius of Karim. And it's like, oh, what? who are these people? What? Who's Velka? What's this goddess of sin? Who's this? And it's like you go through and you read these things, mm -hmm. and you get more and more information to go. And then there's the set dialogue between people in the realms of like the NPCs and all that stuff. And it's like, you go through and get all that stuff taken care of. And then you have your main story that is kind of fed to you as you get to certain points. You're like, Oh, Hey, this person's monologuing or, Oh, you ran into this person. Oh, Hey, what's up? You like, I need something to get past here. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why I like that story. So I can see why you would like the direct story feeding of like, this is what you need and this is why you need to do it. Mm hmm. Fair. Yeah, and no, I've never really been a fan of stories to hold through optional lore boxes. Like, uh, I, I've never been able to get into the the, the Souls-like world. But I get why people like it. Same for me, dog. But yeah, no, I like I like when my when my story and my my, my, my gameplay and my narrative are related like i've said it before and i know you disagree or not as you disagree you, i know you don't like final 13 very much but... oh uh the, the light the lightning uh straight ride uh final fantasy yeah but um, it wasn't bad yeah. for what it was i enjoyed it but yeah one of the reasons that i really like the linearity is because it bits like you are on the run you, there is no you don't just get to go and do side quests when you are an outlaw you are just moving from one destination to another trying to get trying to clear your name trying to get free and i think in that aspect the hallway linear design actually works really well yeah it's just coming from somebody who likes to level up really high before yeah. getting somewhere the only place I could do that was in like a hallway mm -hmm. but you go, you would like go up a level and then run around and then you would have to go all the way back down and then it would re finally reset the enemies once you got to the top and you have to run all the way back down. 
and then they'd finally reset again, and it was just like, ugh. I like, just want to be strong enough to get through the next phase. Fair. <laughs> and then you get to the open area towards the end, and there's just things that just mollywop you, and I'm like, I sat and spent like 13 hours leveling, <laughs> and I'm still weak as fuck. Like, this is bullshit. Fair. But I also like the set. I mean, that's the... By the time the game opens up is when you are it makes it, it's at a place where it makes sense to open up. Like it is you are no longer in the government anymore. You were down you were down in you were in Australia. You were in Prison Island. Yeah. So like that's when the game finally opens up because you're not on the run anymore. Like, I don't know. I think that and I get what people don't I think Final Fantasy XIII's biggest flaw was being a Final Fantasy game. It, you think it should have just been kind of like its own thing? I absolutely think. Outside of you take Chocobos and some of the summons and out of there, and what is how else is it a Final Fantasy game? Like, like and I feel like a lot of stuff feels it almost honestly feels thrown in. Okay, that's weird. Like, yeah, no, I think it should have been its own IP, and I think it would have done a lot better. I, I rested at the bonfire, and none of, none of the enemies came back. Now, do they respawn when you rest? Yeah, they're supposed to. Weird. Uh, let me uh go back real quick. I really wish somebody would just summon me, cause then, cause then I could just be done with it. I could go in, I could kill the gargoyle two times, and I'd be done with it. But you know, I will still defend thirteen to the end of time. However, I don't know why they fucking made two shitty sequels. Yeah, I don't understand it. Fan service. But the game, like everyone, like 13... likes chicks running around with weapons. I guess. I guess, but like thirteen sold well, but like not enough, like to spawn two sequels, especially with how much. Like at that point, like. The outcry was there, like it was definitely very mixed, and people weren't happy with it. Um, but on on the game design, did you ever play a thirteen two? No. So thirteen. I. Oh, go ahead. When did thirteen two come out? Like two or three years after the first one, so like twenty thirteen. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was uh, headlong into a failing marriage okay. that I was under control. It's the same reason I didn't get to play a lot of Pokemon games, because right when I started to feel the need to get back into them, it was like I wasn't allowed to. And I know that sounds kind of shitty, but it's just the easiest way to yeah, describe it. No, I get you. Um, yeah, the thing I find super interesting about... So 13.2, um, I think is interesting as a game, just because as a game... It is a better game okay, it's for my game placed front it is better it's like they fixed like i don't think 13 was the most fun game to play didn't i liked it enough but it didn't have the best battle system um it was a little samey like i get it so 13 2 had a much better battle system and a much more fun gameplay however it was a worse game because gameplay and everything especially in an rpg I feel like in an rpg world and characters and plot are way more important um, what about Final Fantasy X-2? I didn't mind. How did you feel about that I one? I thought X-2 was okay. How did I clip through his fucking body? I actually did not mind X-2 at oh all. Oh my god. To be fair, X-2 was also my first Final Fantasy? Question mark, question Really? X-2 was your first one? It was that or seven. Um... All I know is that there were outfits, and it looked like it was really complicated, so I never bothered. I just watched my friend play and get all the outfits. Where am I hearing sound from? Is that from you? Is that from me? Uh, I don't have anything coming through. Oh, weird. I did my, have... My tab just started auto-playing stuff for some reason. Weird. Oh, it's the worst. Um, you want to do, boo? The heater? Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I thought 10-2 was okay. But, yeah, it was either that or it... 
it was i think i don't know it wasn't my i think it was seven i think i played seven first it wasn't quite my first but you know which one i played first uh one one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I figured, I figured Holy shit, I got a Balder side sword. Oh my god. The guy in my uh my podcast said he's never gotten one of these things for his decks playthrough, and oh. I just finally got it. Hell That's yeah. hilarious. Even though the podcast is from like when this game first came out, it's still <laughs> it's still funny. Fair. Yeah, no, I think um Let's get the hat. Let's get the Famicom hat. Let's get the gamer hat. Be a gamer, uh, but yeah, no, I, I think ten two was fine. Mesh ten, I mean similarly. I also th I think if you look at all the Final Fantasies, gameplay wise, I think ten one probably has the best battle system. But it's one of my least favorites because I cannot stand the characters of the world. You can't stand the pineapple eating savage. Yeah. I don't get the reference, but no. Uh you Waka. Oh, he eats pineapples. He, th he throws a beach. He throws a beach ball. Oh, okay. He said pineapple eating savage. Yes, that it's probably super derogatory, and oh, I okay. probably could get blacklisted for it. But that's basically he's like, oh, what's up, brother? He's like a mix between like what would be a Hawaiian bro guy and like somebody from I don't even know how to describe it at no, this point. Okay, I, now I get what you're saying. Yeah. But it's like he was like a surfer dude, and he fit the part, and it was just like, oh, hey, it's this guy. Yeah. I wonder I mean, if that's just because... Where the fuck wants us to go? So, for, but, forgive me, people of Hawaii, that's just what yeah. we called him because we were ignorant. Oh, yeah, no, this is not going in the video. <laughs> I am definitely editing that part out just to be safe. Okay. Not how I want to get famous. <laughs> Everyone, both of us, I lose my channel and you get famous. That's fair. It's not like I can really, I don't even know what I'm going to do to get content bet on because I just don't have fucking time. Fair. Yeah. Why not, like, like right now when you're, or like when you're playing um, Bloodborne with, or not Bloodborne, um, Elden Ring with DPH, so you're not doing ever clear, ever clear Elden Ring. No, uh, so what we decided is we were gonna get to New Game Plus and then have like our characters that we've meant to that we wanted built, mm. and then we're gonna basically go through and try and beat the bosses and see how long it takes us to beat the bosses. Fair. Did you ever finish? So, like we're gonna go. Go ahead. Huh? Sorry, I thought you were done. What, what's up? No, we haven't finished the game yet, so no, we haven't. I meant um, uh, Dark Souls. Did you finish the Drunk Souls? Yeah, we finished D Drunk but, Souls. But did you like finish, like did you upload all of them? I feel like yeah, I they're stopped. all uploaded. I wonder if I just stopped getting them. Yeah, they they're all the way uploaded to we we defeated the uh Scarlet Knight or whatever the fuck his name is. There. My hat, my hat, my hat. Yay! Oh look, I defeated a single fire bro. That's a fucking moon. You did a triple jump. That's a moon. You walked forward. That's a fucking moon. You sneezed. <laughs> yeah, that's my least favorite part about this game. I don't know why they chose to go that. Well, how do I get my hat back? I want my hat back. You sneeze. <laughs> you shove it in the cornucopia, my guy. I want my hat back. How the fuck do I get my hat back? I'm pressing every button and no buttons get my hat back, Nintendo. Oh. Get my hat back, Jordan. I have to jump Do you want on. to see Uncle Cracker or not? <laughs> oh, I can just clear this. Oh, yeah, I'm a dummy. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm a big, I'm a big dumb. But um, fuck. I died again. But anyway, going back to Final Fantasy X. Yeah, no, I think X combat-wise is my favorite Final Fantasy. Wasn't that the one that had the uh, the grid system? Yeah, I love the grid. I love the oh, grid. the grid system, like. To me, that's like why why have this not happened before? Like yep. how dare how dare you guys get rid of this? Yep. Yeah, the sphere grid should... is not as rusty as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of disappointing. The, the sphere grid should be standard in every Final Fantasy. Okay. 
Can you come back down here? Thank you. Whee! Oh, nope. Oh god, one of the phantoms like <laughs> went across and I was like, ugh! <laughs> Whee! Oh, there we go. I, I, I guess I'm not going to get summoned again. This sucks. Are people still playing that game? Yeah. So when you uh, ring the bell in the gate... So the thing is, is people play it not human because in this one you have to unhollow yourself so people play it not human because they don't want to get invaded because people who invade can be assholes Fuck. what so so people just uh play the game uh human until like the last minute and then they summon like solaire or whatever npc that's there so it's like depending on the game the boss and, like, that's the thing that people don't understand is, like, this game was built to have the co-op involved with it. So when people are like, oh, you didn't play the real game, we know, by... Because you didn't do this. And it's like, no, it was in... Like you said, it's in the game, so we're using it. Like, don't don't be a butthead. Yeah, I've heard that with Elden Ring a lot. I've heard people say, oh, you're not... If you play co-op, you're not really playing Elden Ring. Then why is it part of the game? Yeah. They specifically said that it was built to house massive co-op. Like, I've summoned more people in Elden Ring than I've summoned in any other game. Like, you can summon up to three people in Dark Souls if you do the uh, two-finger whatever. And Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3, you can have up to three to four people at times, depending on what you're doing, as well as the invaders. Mm -hmm. You can have, like, up to two invaders if you have that many coming in. It's just that the way that the things lock together, it's hard to get that many people on the same server. But no, it's the it's meant for co-op. Like the bosses bump up in health as well, so it's not like you're really getting a free shot. So if the boss is like a hundred health, when me playing it by myself, if you join me, it would have two hundred health, or it would scale up a hundred and fifty health because it's like okay, there's two people attacking, so I'm a little bit more difficult. So it's not just a free reign, like, oh, there's three people coming in, let's go. It's like, no, there's three times the health. So if they die quickly, I'm left to face the monster with all the more health. Yeah, so it's it's the cuphead. Oh, yeah, 100%. Fair. Yeah, I just don't get what people like. I feel like that, that's one thing. I feel like the Dark Souls community has to be the most gatekeepy community. In really? I don't get. I don't get that at all. Really? I think they're really there, bad. there are some toxic ass people out there because they're the ones who invade just for the sake of invading. But then there are people who invade for like just fun and you can tell those people from the other ones. I mean that's been like in general, like, you know, they the Dark Souls community does not like they're very a lot of people are very picky about oh, if you don't beat if you don't play the game right. Then you know a lot of people are really picky about um like no no easy mode in my Dark Souls. There's t trust me, there's no easy mode. But you know like people like if they if they get put in easy mode in the game, they're ruining the game, like that kind of shit. Like I feel like the Dark Souls community is just very much this game will be played this way or it's not or not at all. And to be honest, a lot of people don't subscribe to it. It's just people shitting in the wind. Because the whole reason that I play this game is not because it's hard, but because it's fun doing it with other people. Like, I enjoy putting my sign down and waiting to help people. Okay. God, Cody cannot do deep woods. Cody's bad at Mario. The video game. Ah, fuck. I just got one-shotted. What kind of Dark Souls bullshit is this? Eric and I are it's both. It's the crossover that we deserve. Yeah. Eric and I are both playing Dark Souls. Mar Mario is Dark Souls. I mean, you you're you die and come back. The only difference is you don't drop all your moons. <laughs> Could you imagine a Mario game like that? Like, you just pick up all your fucking your power stars, your moon. Like fuck. 
considering it's a platformer, I don't think it would fit very well. Even though they do mm. platformy shit in this game, and I'm like, why are you doing this? Because it's fun. <laughs> you have to roll off and trust that you're going to stop. Apparently, there's like a glitch where if you touch the ground and you pause it and like if you immediately exit the game, like if you're quick enough on the exit where your feet touched last is where it'll put you. So like if you're trying to roll off and do like a something that you need to do, but you missed it, you can just freaking save the game and it'll take you back. Did I miss a pick a pipe? Okay. Did I get all right except a lot? Okay. You weren't even facing me, you piece of shit. Damn, I just fucking guessed. I went sicko mode on that. So then I went to this one. I picked the right pipe. Pick a P Peter Piper Pickle Peckers Pickle Pecker Fucker. However that fucking thing goes. P Peter Piper pickles his peckers. Whoa. Where's my moon? You ever you ever fucking I think I've told the story before, but it's yeah's favorite story. So, fun fact, kids, or not kids, because kids are watching this, also I'm telling a penis story. Uh, fun fact, adults, um, did you know that pineapple is acidic? And do you know you should not put pineapple on your mem on your member? Um, you know what pineapple also does? What? Technically, it digests you. Yeah. So, yeah, you should not put pineapple on your member, and um, I learned the hard way. 